Yo, what's going on, y'all? In today's video, we're going to be going over Sonic Fox versus Nikolas from last year's Evo in Top 8. Now, this was one of the hypest sets. It was a set that a lot of people wanted to see. It was a set that a lot of people made excuses about after. You know, we'll get to all that, but let's hop right into it. So, Nikolas went with Fujin. Sonic went with, you know, the patented Joker, the Joker that won We Play, the Joker that won Final Combat, the Joker that... You know, beat me in a random online tournament where the r prize was a sword. <laughs> you know, it's just the uh, Sonic Joker has taken down so many things. But Nikolas, you know, Nikolas and Scorpion Prox, the Chileans, they're looking to dominate and take every event moving forward. Nice. Gets an opening, gets the breakaway out of Sonic. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even know what I saw. So he landed back to, landed a little too close. And the the dive kick whiffed. Because, yeah, he had no bar. So he went for back two, dive kick off Skywalker. It whiffs. Sonic recognizes that instantly. Boom, boom, boom. Into a full combo. Ooh, that was a bad whip by Sonic, though. That's like 10% damage. That's like 10% damage just lost, and you can't afford to lose damage like that against uh, against Fujin. Forward 1-4, one, four, forward 1 into the box. Sonic's good at mixing up those options. And also, Sonic, like we talked about in the Final Combat video, is very good at not letting you take options away. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you might be able to punish all the options, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna omit any of them. You know, Sonic's very good at that kind of mindset. Because if you start omitting options, then what you're going to do... Oh, the micro duck there. What you're going to do becomes more obvious, you know what I mean? If you have three options, you take out one, their chances of knowing what you're going to do is way higher. Oh, nice counter poke from Nikolas there. Sonic was only minus one. And... Wait, hold on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to rewind. So, from this range... This is like Joker, Joker's range here because he's like right outside of uh, Fujin's like pokes and forward one and stuff like that is going to be like back one one usually. You know, they're a little faster. So Sonic thought, you know, Nikolas knows that. So let me just dash up, do some shit. And Nikolas was having none of that. Just bopped him with the one, two. So that was a good round. Ooh, and you know Nikolas was waiting for the box there, was waiting for the box, and then ended up sliding, and Sonic just... That's one thing that you'll notice if you watch a lot of Sonic, is Sonic has mind games that you think shouldn't exist. You know what I mean? Like minus 10 into a mid. But it's because people are respecting other things. You know what I mean? People are either respecting other things... Or Sonic has a read on them doing something really slow. You know what I mean? Sonic is the best at that. In, uh, I assume, in the whole FGC. You know what I mean? Like, But it, especially in the NRS scene of, like, making a read on if they want to do something really slow and then doing something that maybe doesn't make sense frame data-wise to beat that. Like, oh, I'm minus five, but you're about to do, like, an 18-frame move. Let me just jab you type of deal. And Sonic looked good that round. Looked good. Yeah, catches the down one back dash. Doesn't work as well offline. Still works. Not as well offline. Still works, though. Don't get me wrong. Doesn't just become obsolete offline, but works a little bit worse, you know. They're playing online, especially... Ch I don't know where Sonic lives. Like, does Sonic live in, like, uh, like Seattle or, like, New York or something? Like, those places to uh, Chile, yeah, online, that would have worked, <laughs> for sure. Now, Nikolas is doing a good job running here, which is... You know what Fujin should be doing with the life lead against Joker? Against most of the cast, especially Joker. Nice respect, wave dash into grab. Wave dash into grab on Sonic, that's so scary. Especially, like, Sonic knows you have the KB loaded, so to do that, that's just like... That's so scary to do. Oh, nice back two into the dive kick. That's what that's what Nikolas messed up on in round one, but didn't mess up on it here. Ooh! 
The grab. Ooh. The throw. Now, one thing, one thing about these players that are super well studied, like Nikolas, Scorpion Prox, and Edgekilla, is they're so well studied that they'll just wait and play off of your offense. Because they'll assume, like, you, you're not just going to grab me. You know, it's and they're so good at playing off people's offense. And right there, Nikolas tries to move on Wake Up after a couple grabs, and Sonic just makes the read. Oh, my God. And there gets shimmy by the fatal blow. Dang. I've, I've been in situations like that. The reason stuff like that happens is because, like, you just, like, see it in your mind that, like, oh, my God, Sonic is going to just fatal blow grab me, and it's over right here. And... I know I shouldn't be like teching aggressively, but it's it's just it's gonna happen if I don't. But then Sonic, Sonic knows that Nikolas is scared of that and just goes for the hit and it works. And it that was one of the best comebacks like ever. Like especially was on like Evo stage like this. And that that's that's and like Nikolas is like is like coming back fast right now. You know whenever like UFC fighters like. They have to like take a little break because like someone got hit in the nuts or like someone got poked in the eye, and then when they come back to fight, when the ref says it's on, they're like so aggressive, you know, like so fast paced. I feel like this is like what Nikolas is doing right now. Like, like he really did not like how that last game ended. I mean, who would though? Who would you know? And gets that round clean there. Nice win push. Ooh, the KB. Nice punish on the back too. Ooh, jump kick gets false block, but Sonic's still confident enough to come in with pressure. Okay, no false block on the box. Ooh, yeah, I struggle with that as well. I struggle with punish and Fujin's dive kick, both options as well. Ooh, no punish on the Joker gun. Ooh, Sonic with the outspace, though. Ooh, oh, drop the combo. Those combos are kind of hard, man. Those Sonic-Joker combos, I see why a lot of people don't do them. Most people just do, like, real basic combos. That's, that, that stuff is not easy. But we're going into game three. It's 1-1. Oh, wow, but drops it, though. But got away with dropping it with Skywalker, though. Sonic's having trouble dealing with, like, the runaway style of Fujin. But, I mean, I just I just don't think Joker has that many options in it, though. Ooh, almost got a crazy conversion there with, with uh, the box. Ooh, catches the slide, though. Yeah, at the end of the day, like, Joker's got to use uh, normals in movement to get going. Nice throw. 4-1 box. Ooh. I don't think that would have comboed, though. I don't think that would have comboed there. Nice spacing. Ooh. Nikolaus spaced that perfectly, but didn't get the punish. Nice counter poke with the grab. Ooh, tries tries to get the grab again, but Sonic was ready. Sonic was ready for that cancel. Now, Sonic, like, as always, is, like, so good at counter poking. Like, so good at it. But Nikolaus is as well. And even though, like, even though, like, Sonic is winning the set so far, like, Sonic is having to do it by doing stuff like that. Like, finding, like, mistakes that Nikolas makes, you know, like, with back two, with dive kick, like, stuff like that. Like, when Fujin is just running away and being so solid, it's just really hard. And I'm not saying that Sonic, even if uh, they play really solid, that Sonic can't make something happen. But with the Joker's tools, it's like you need mistakes from the Fujin almost. Like, right there, that was a mistake. Like... 
jump him from that range. Right there, that's that's a good position for Joker right there, though. Ooh, and oh, I miss punish, though. Miss punish. I don't even... I remember a lot of this. I don't remember that miss punish. I assume Joker can get the punish there, right? I don't, I don't play Joker, so I'm not sure. But I assume that that should have been a punish. Now, with that right there, I don't know. Oh, my God. Joker's fatal blow just too slow, though. Now, from that range, I don't think it's a punish. Joker's fatal blow just too slow. But Sonic, again, a master. And it's just like... Like, Sonic was stopping down one back dash earlier in the set, like we talked about. But then right there, it blocks it down one throws. Like, Sonic is just a master of counterpoking. And I think it's because Sonic takes mental notes of, like, what the opponent is thinking. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my down one back dash just got stuffed. I'm going to block this time. And then block their mid, and then it's my turn again. But Sonic's just like, nope, throw. Nope, throw. We saw that so much against Ninja Killer, and we're seeing it here. At Ooh, nice punish. Okay. 34%. I don't remember who went up 2-1. I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, this is, like, brand new to me. I remember the result of the set and, like, stuff that happened in it, but I don't remember who went up 2-1. It's looking like it's about to be Sonic. Ooh, nice jump kick to B+. Plus. Good counter poking here from both. They're both, you know. Oh, and that's that. That's going to be that. There's no way Sonic... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, if it was, like, a regular Joker, I would have been like, oh, they have one more chance. But Sonic is, like, insane with optimizing situations, like, Oh, if you break, you're dead. But if you don't break, I've got a little convert too. You know what I mean? Like, that's just that's just typical Sonic stuff, you know? <laughs> it's not you, like you expect it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Even though it's insanely impressive. Oh, nice. Minus seven tries to do something there. Nikolas gets the check. But um, no convert, though. No full combo or nothing like that. Now, nice punish again on the back, too. Sonic's got that a few times. Oh my god, look at that. And that's Nikolas again looking to play off of Sonic's offense and it's allowing for like these crazy throw situations. And right there, catches the one-two backdash. That's a very popular, you know, Fujin, Fujin thing. Like if Fujin had a menu, it'd be like one-two backdash, down one backdash, back two, random Skywalker. You know what I mean? Like that would be on that would be like the main entrees on the Fujin menu. And Sonic just, you know. Oh, nice false block by Niklas. Gonna give Sonic fatal, though. Oh, makes Sonic with the first hit, but the second hit's so long. Nice counter poking for both here. Both are playing so solid. Nice gonna block in time, yep. Sonic try <laughs> trying to chase that, but Joker just... And Sonic actually landed the forward one there. Didn't follow through, though. I think it was kind of awkward because of the floss block jump. Oh my god. Oh my god, the counter poke throw. You know Sonic was expecting a counter poke one too. Yeah, for sure. And then a back throw out of the corner. It's just like, ah, oh man. Situations like that, it's so hard to guess right. Sonic just whip on his Fujin slide. Oh my god. The fact that, like, Sonic is getting Nikolas to, like, throw out bad back twos and bad four threes just shows like the neutral of sonic you know what i mean like not to like meat ride too much but like you got like you got like a top three player in the world right now just whiffing like the biggest buttons in the game <laughs> you know that's that's pretty insane if you ask me nikolas is looking good this game though yeah nice punish on the projectile with back two yeah, Nikolas has been missing stuff like that in this set so far. Like, certain punishes on, like, Joker's projectile, on Joker's uh, neutral and stuff like that. But it looks like now Nikolas is starting to clean it up. Misses the conversion, though. As soon as I said clean it up, that must have been, like, uh, whatever they call commentator's curse. <laughs> Even though this is, like, a said this already happened. Oh. Nice counter poke with the throw from Sonic. The counter poking from these two is, like, elite level. Like, it's as good as it gets. Because that's MK11 ultimately, right? Like, you want to, you want as many turns as possible, and you want them to be scared of getting hit to where you can just throw them. Or if you're sub-zero, you want them to be scared of getting hit so you can just throw them or mix them. 
<laughs> you know, that's it. Oh, nice, nice uh, false block, but no up two, though. Nice grab, eats the down two. Ooh, Sonic almost got a little convert there, but Nikolas just too far away on the jump. And this is going to be tough here. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Joker's tools just, you know, they're not the best at getting in. <laughs> I, I almost said it like I just left it at his tools aren't the best. He's definitely a good character, like very good, like top 10 probably. But uh, to getting in on Fujin, you know, he struggles a bit. Oh, nice. Charge the counter poke with the throw. Sonic jumps it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sonic choked that. I remember that now. Sonic choked that. Hold on. Let's break that down, though. Did Sonic really choke that, or was that just like a... So, boom, boom. Okay, this could not have been done more optimally. This combo. The only way it could have been done more optimally... Is if Sonic did like the the armor breaker right there instead? Maybe I don't know because I feel like Nikolas saw that box, saw this box, and was like, "Okay, Sonic cannot fit in a, a back forward four here or whatever the armor breaker is. That's back forward four, right? So I'm gonna break now." And Sonic knows that because Sonic is like the master of Joker combos, so it just fits in a down two, which down two is a lot faster than the armor breaker and adds a lot of damage. So that was like. That was literally the optimal way Sonic could have done that. Literally the optimal way. So now uh, Nikolas has left at 4%. No bar. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. So Sonic did down one into the box. I guess thinking that... See, look, because that knockdown, like with the down two, hitting the breakaway is so like uh, not plus. Nikolas also tried to press. Nikolas also tried to press. The down one beat him, which down one was the only thing that was going to beat him. Sonic couldn't have, couldn't have forward one, couldn't have back threed, none of that. You know what I mean? It would have been too slow. So Sonic had to poke, beat Nikolas's poke, and then I guess Sonic thought it would chip, but it just. Barely didn't chip. Just barely didn't chip. It was almost a competitive 3-1 win for Sonic if it did if it did 0.4% more chip. That's insane. Uh or no, even less, I think, than that. Even less. Cause this is like this is like what 4% life right here? Yeah, so it was 0.4%. Less than one less than half of a percent. Oh man, if Sonic just if Sonic just down one on hit and then went to a string, it would have been over. But of course, you know, if you think you're going to land the down one, you're going to assume that that's going to chip the, the rest, but it just didn't. Man, that, that was crazy. That was crazy. All right, on to game five. On to game five. That was insane. It's crazy, like, that that special didn't do the rest. It's crazy. Like, it was so close. Oh, nice. Joker's short hop 2 is underrated. I think Sonic did it, like, on accident there, though, but... Also, we're offline, so... Short hop's gonna be a bit less effective than, you know... Nice. Wake up down two from Sonic. Oh, shit. Nice. Punish with the counter poke wing kicks. Or reversal wing kicks, I should say. Ooh, gets the plus frames there from the jump kick. Uses them to back off. And then, yeah. L let me, like, review that moment a little bit. So uses the plus frames of the jump kick. To back off, Sonic responds with dash of forward 2 1. And then tries to do. Yeah, we saw earlier in the set, Sonic did forward 2 1 on block. And then did forward 1 immediately after to be a slower option from Nikolas. Like a like a dash up or like a forward 3 or something like that. But right there, Nikolas just counter pokes immediately. And it's going to put him on match point. 
Right now, Nikolas is ahead of Sonic in the counter poking a little bit. Like, of course, like you can you can be ahead and make a wrong read, but you know, Nikolas finally. I feel like throughout the set, Sonic has has had the read on Nikolas a little bit more, you know, than the other way around. But in this game so far, it's been you know, it's been yeah. Oh no, that was a bad drop. What even happened there? So Sonic, like, wow. Sonic thought that they would get a full dash of stand one. Wow. I assume you could have got like something like that easier. Oh, and then the outspace on the four two one. This is looking grim right now. Oh, the back two. Just chipping away. Doesn't quite get the whip punch, but forward two one, but doesn't get hit either. Oh no! I don't remember if Sonic came back this round or if it just ended here. Yeah, it just ended the jump kick. Man, the composure there from Nikolas was insane. Like Sonic was rolling at points in that set, like going up one zero, going up two one. I believe he even went up two one and won the round, right? No. But did end up winning a round and, and going on match point, I believe. And when Sonic is like rolling like that, it's it's hard to keep composure. But anyways, at the beginning, I mentioned excuses. So a lot of people said Sonic lost this set because they were focused on Skullgirls only at this event. So it's going to be interesting to see at this Evo, um, the last Evo for MK11, for sure, because, you know, we're hearing so much about MK12 coming out in like November, stuff like that. And even if it comes out in like April next year, this will be the last Evo for MK11. And we're going to see if Sonic comes in, you know, and if it was Skull Girls, if it was not or whatever, I don't know. Because I feel like Sonic's looking as good as ever right here. You know, just like how Sonic did it, we play, you know, I feel like Sonic's looking as good as ever right here. And, and Nikolas just stayed composed and won. But to be fair, you know, the character matchup does seem to be in Nikolas's favor. You know, Sonic has to rely on mistakes or, like, God reads in the neutral. But regardless, all the respect in the world to Nikolas and his brother, Scorpion Prox. And, yeah, that's going to be it for this. Appreciate everyone. Let me know what uh, other sets you'd like to see me cover. And maybe drop a like on the video if you don't mind. Later, y'all.